few days ago i was making a video on a walkie talkie and in that video you have been watched how to make a proper transmitter in a simple way today you will see how is it possible to make a receiver for that transmitter but for that you must watch the episode of the previous transmitter video otherwise you will not understand anything about this video of course today's receiver is very easy to make if you follow some rules and our receiver will be built in between 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz and i'm pretty sure you understand it is inside the fm range and definitely you can listen to fm by tuning your favorite fm station through this receiver and to make it right way you must watch the video perfectly from beginning to end and guys i promised you you would not be disappointed with that i would say stay home and stay safe This video has been sponsored by GLC PCB. This company make prototype PCB with new generation technology. From here you can order up to maximum 6 layer PCB and most attractive offer you can choose any color of PCB absolutely free of cost. You can also choose SMT service to save your time or make your work easier. And of course you can enjoy worldwide shipping in just 7 days. All those fun offer you can enjoy for just $2. I must say for additional information you can visit their website. This is the second part video of walkie talkie in which I will make only one receiver and the part 3 I will make a video as a walkie talkie which allow to you communicate over long distance approx 2 km. Before making an walkie talkie you must have an audio section to make a walkie talkie receiver through which we can hear sound. In my opinion the most straightforward way to create an audio section is LM386IC. Just you needed some components and with it you can build your radio amplifier. A very thin speaker I am using here for produce sound. So I need a small box to sound more loudly. Which I made with a 3D printer and see the speaker is set very nicely in this box. Here I will make a speaker connection with the copper wire. And which I can easily associate it with my copper structure. To better understand how to make a receiver. Here I am trying to make it in a very simple way by copper frame. Hopefully as a result you have benefit a lot. Ok my audio amplifier is made. I made it just according to this diagram. Circuit diagram you will find in the description box. Just like you always get. It looks pretty good. What do you think? Ok let's check this out. So I gave 5 volt in this audio amplifier. And see my audio amplifier is on. And I connected the audio signal input to my phone. Now you can see guys. It is playing music in a very beautiful way. As I expected. So guys our audio amplifier is complete, now is the time for the main thing, receiver section. Before creating the receiver section, I would say watch the video very carefully. Ok guys, this is the diagram of receiver section. And guys you can see here I am using 2003 IC here, through which AM and FM frequency can be created in a very simple way. Guys notice that the diagram is nothing complicated here, just 2 PF and 2 ceramic filters. And guys the thing that can confuse your mind here is this place. Here you can see an LC circuit is made with inductor and capacitors. Ok guys I will explain this to you later. First let's build this circuit. So I attach the next frame to my receiver. Then I connect all the positive line to the IC through the copper wire. After that I put this IC in this frame. And I soldered it very well. Then I adjusted the 10.07 MHz ceramic filter to this IC pin number 2 as well as I adjusted number 2 ceramic filter with ICs 3 and 8 number pins. Ok guys your circuit is complete. Now let's try to understand what is exactly LC circuit. Ok guys before entering this chapter let's promise we will not be afraid to look at the coil but instead we will try to understand it. L means air core inductor and C means capacitor and combine of the two create a specific frequency. If you love to do math, so I would like to tell you the frequency is calculated by F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over LC. Ok guys, let's try to understand more deeper. If our L is 100 nano handy and C is 30 picofarad, then we can get 91.8 MHz frequency. I think I guess do you have difficult to understand, am I right? Ok, no problem, I am telling you more simple way. Now the question is how do I tune the frequency to my choice between 88 MHz to 108 MHz? It is very simple. 
if you fix the value of capacitance and increase and decrease the inductance value then you can get any frequency similarly if you keep fixed value of the inductance then if you change the value of capacitance then you can select the frequency of your choice in my case i want to keep fixed value of capacitance and i want to reduce and increase inductance to select a specific frequency so that is why you need 6.5 mm drill bit to make a 100 nano handy inductor here i will use 0.7 mm copper wire it is also called 22 wag copper wire in this drill bit you have to wrap your coil three times just like this but guys i want to change the value of inductance here so i create a 3d model here in which i have definitely placed a bolt as a result i can change the inductance by inserting the knot as i wish and in one of which i wrap copper wire three times and in the other i wrap copper wire four times and looks i have finally made a beautiful coil it does not look too bad am i right now guys it's time to connect the coil to the receiver which i add according to this diagram all my work has been done in the right way now let's do a final check to see if it is working properly or not i am using 3.7 volt battery here to run it which i will let us to this receiver next definitely i will turn on my receiver switch and see my receiver is on okay now let's see if it receives some fm station for which i add an antenna and look as soon as the antenna is connected to the receiver a channel seems to be catching am i right then i insert a knot into this bolt and rotate it and see many channel i am receiving here and you can hear this channel more clearly through this second coil okay guys everything is done properly now the time is for last test do you remember this transmitter that i made so that is why this time i added three volt power source to it and definitely i try to change the frequency of my receiver again and see the frequency of my transmitter receiving this receiver and see guys the frequency of my transmitter receiving this receiver this is working properly and it is response very well so guys this is a short video for today i don't know how you like this video and in the next video i will show it as a walkie talkie so guys that's it for today we will see you again in the next video if you like this video please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel stay home and stay healthy